Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Melvin Slater is a high school teacher. You've taken this circuit and come up with your multi-sim circuit. But his lesson plan is not part of your typical curriculum. And ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you, people are paid 60, 75 to maybe $100, $120,000 doing what you're doing. Slater teaches the digital electronics class at Austin Polytechnical Academy, a Chicago public school started in 2007 with a specific intention of training Austin area high schoolers for careers in engineering and manufacturing. In addition to standard college prep classes, students learn from industry veterans like Slater, who previously spent 20 years as an electrical engineer and hardware designer, and take courses such as principles of engineering and machine shop, part of what the school calls the lead the way curriculum. I think the real value is that they're being exposed to something they've never been exposed to. It's the only company that has this. If Austin Polytech was the product of a 2001 study by the Center for Labor and Community Research on the gap between skills needed for modern manufacturing jobs and what students were actually being taught. It showed that many manufacturing programs in Chicago and suburban public schools existed in name only with no students. In addition, those that had students lacked teachers with industrial experience and had no operational equipment for hands-on learning. On top of that, $18 million of local and federal funds were being used for manufacturing program equipment and salaries, but had not undergone or acquired annual evaluation in five years. So Brown should go to negative. There you go. Today, Austin Polytech has taken on those issues with a combination of better in-class training and a career program that partners with local manufacturing companies for job shadowing and internships. Once we actually get them in with the company, they start to really see a pathway for themselves that as they're kind of cultivating their interest and, and for, you know, for a good number of them, it is in engineering and manufacturing. I've gotten a lot of students who I can really tell a light bulb going off of like, oh, this is what it's about. By being taught here at Austin, it's like once you get out of high school, instead of just going to work at McDonald's, you can go work at a manufacturing company. You see the things that you were taught here and then to go out into the real world where other people are at and then be like, oh, we know, we know about CNC machines. And Next month, roughly 80 students will make up APA's first graduating class, many already equipped with specific manufacturing certifications and credentials, and the lion's share planning to go to either a four-year college or a two-year technical school. But what is more valuable are the connections students have made with partner companies that will likely produce job offers down the road. We need the kids to come in and basically take over jobs as our workforce retires. In this area, we do a lot of manual manufacturing. Kevin Brown is the HR director at Addison-based Overton Chicago Gear, where three Austin Polytech students interned this year. Like many of its counterparts, Overton suffers from a lack of skilled labor that plagues the Chicago manufacturing sector, where an estimated 1,200 high-skilled jobs go unfilled each year. In addition, many jobs at plants like Overton have become far more computerized and automated, a good fit for a generation that grew up in front of the computer. Brown says investing time and potentially college tuition reimbursement into APA students will be vital not only for filling those jobs, but also for helping the bottom line. We have to go out and we have to invest in technology, whether it's robotics, whether it's in cell manufacturing, where we actually have to replace a person because we can't find skilled labor. Austin Polytech is going to be able to help companies do that. We want to be able to be able to have that minor league system in place to say, okay, at the end of when they graduate, come and see us. Here's a job offer. You can start a week later. He designed a circuit. Austin Polytech's short-term goals focus on getting its students jobs in an engineering-related field, but program organizers have larger plans to help catalyze new companies and economic development on the city's west side. They'll be closely tracking graduates' career paths with the ultimate goal of building a self-sustaining pipeline into the industry. As these students get situated in these companies and start to move up, they can really serve as the mentors for the students coming up behind them and then really not only creating a network of skill and interest, but also hopefully preparing the next generation of leadership in manufacturing and engineering.